Tired of fad diets that left me hungry and defeated? I was. That's when I discovered intermittent fasting and it changed my life. This wasn't about restricting what I ate but when I ate. The results? Real weight loss and a newfound energy I hadn't felt in years. Let's be honest, losing weight has never been easy for me. It felt like an uphill battle that I was constantly losing. Every time I looked in the mirror I was reminded of the weight I needed to lose, and it was disheartening. I felt tired, not just physically, but emotionally too. The journey seemed endless, and I often wondered if I would ever find a solution that worked for me. I'd tried countless diets, low carb, low fat, you name it. Each new diet came with a promise of quick results and a slimmer me. I would start with enthusiasm, meticulously planning my meals and counting every calorie. But soon, the novelty would wear off, and I would find myself struggling to stick to the rigid rules. The restrictions felt suffocating and I was constantly battling hunger and cravings. They all led to the same frustrating cycle initial excitement, followed by intense cravings and eventually, giving up. I would start strong, feeling hopeful and determined. But as the days went by, the cravings would become unbearable. I would find myself thinking about food all the time and it was exhausting. Eventually I would give in feeling defeated and disappointed in myself. It was a vicious cycle that left me feeling hopeless. Then I stumbled upon intermittent fasting. It was a concept that intrigued me because it was different from anything I had tried before. Instead of focusing on what to eat, it focused on when to eat. The idea of not having to restrict certain foods was appealing, and I wondered if this could be the key to breaking the cycle of failed diets. Could this be the answer I'd been searching for? I was skeptical but also hopeful. I had tried so many things without success but something about intermittent fasting felt different. It seemed more sustainable and less restrictive. I decided to do some research and learn more about how it worked. I decided to give it a shot, starting with the 16-8 method. Fasting for 16 hours and eating within an 8-hour window. It sounded challenging, but also manageable. I planned my eating window to fit my lifestyle, allowing me to have meals at times that worked best for me. I was determined to give it an honest try and see if it could make a difference. The first few days were an adjustment, but I was surprised by how manageable it felt compared to previous diet attempts. I expected to feel hungry and irritable, but instead, I felt more in control. The structure of intermittent fasting helped me to develop a routine, and I found that I was less focused on food. It was a refreshing change from the constant obsession with eating that I had experienced with other diets. As the days turned into weeks, I began to notice positive changes in my body and my mindset. I felt more energetic and the weight started to come off. It wasn't just about the physical changes though, I felt a sense of accomplishment and empowerment that I hadn't felt in a long time. Intermittent fasting was not just a diet, it was a lifestyle change that was helping me to build a healthier relationship with food and with myself. Like any new habit, intermittent fasting came with its hurdles. At first it felt like an uphill battle, as my body and mind adjusted to a new eating schedule. The initial days were particularly tough, as I had to break free from old habits and embrace a new routine. Hunger pangs, especially in the beginning, were definitely a challenge. My stomach would growl and I found myself constantly thinking about food. It was a test of my willpower and determination, but I reminded myself that these feelings were temporary and part of the process. Social gatherings revolving around food also required some planning and willpower. It wasn't easy to resist the delicious spreads at parties or family dinners. I had to be strategic, sometimes eating before attending events or bringing my own healthy options. It was all about finding a balance and staying committed to my goals. However, I learned to navigate these obstacles. With time, I became more adept at handling the challenges that came my way. I developed strategies that worked for me, and slowly but surely, intermittent fasting became a part of my lifestyle. Drinking plenty of water and staying busy during fasting periods helped curb hunger. Hydration was key, as it kept me feeling full and energized. I also found that engaging in activities, whether it was a hobby or exercise, distracted me from thoughts of food and made the fasting periods more manageable. I also became more mindful of my eating habits, focusing on nutritious, satisfying meals during my eating window. I started to appreciate the quality of the food I was consuming, rather than just the quantity. Preparing balanced meals with a variety of nutrients became a priority, and I noticed a positive impact on my overall well-being. This journey taught me the importance of patience, persistence, and self-care. Conquering the challenges of intermittent fasting was not just about losing weight, but about gaining a healthier, more mindful approach to eating and living. Here's what I learned along the way. Start slow. 
When embarking on any new journey, especially one that involves changes to your daily routine, it's crucial to ease into it. Just like you wouldn't sprint a marathon without training, you shouldn't dive headfirst into a new habit without preparation. Don't jump into a long fast right away. It's tempting to think that more is better, but your body needs time to adjust. Start with manageable goals. Begin with a 12-hour fast and gradually increase the duration. This allows your body to adapt to the new eating pattern without feeling overwhelmed. Stay hydrated. Hydration is key to maintaining energy levels and overall health. Drink plenty of water, unsweetened tea, or black coffee during fasting periods. These beverages can help curb hunger and keep you feeling full. Listen to your body. It's important to pay attention to how you feel. If you feel lightheaded or unwell, break your fast and consult a healthcare professional. Your health should always come first. Don't binge eat. When it's time to eat, focus on nourishing your body. Focus on healthy, balanced meals during your eating window. Incorporate a variety of vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. This ensures you get the nutrients you need. Find your rhythm. Everyone's body is different. Experiment with different fasting schedules to find what works best for your lifestyle. Some people thrive on a 16-8 schedule while others prefer a 5-2 approach. The key is to find a routine that you can stick with long term. Remember, consistency is more important than perfection. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and keep moving forward. Victories big and small my fasting results. The pounds started to melt away, but it wasn't just about the number on the scale I felt lighter, more energetic, and my clothes fit better. Intermittent fasting wasn't just a diet, it was a lifestyle shift that brought about positive changes I could see and feel. The science behind the success why fasting works. Intermittent fasting isn't just another fad, it's backed by science. When you fast, your body goes through a metabolic switch. After depleting stored glucose, it starts burning fat for energy. This process, called ketosis, is a key driver of weight loss. Studies have also linked intermittent fasting to numerous health benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, and even cellular repair. Fasting faux pas. Avoid these common mistakes. Here are some common pitfalls to avoid. Fasting for too long. Excessively long fasts can be detrimental to your health. Restricting calories too severely. Focus on nutrient-dense foods during your eating window. Ignoring your body's signals. Don't push through feelings of faintness or dizziness. Viewing fasting as a quick, fix, sustainable weight loss requires long-term lifestyle changes. You've got this. Finding your fasting groove. Intermittent fasting isn't about deprivation. It's about finding a sustainable approach to eating that works for you. It's about listening to your body, honoring its needs, and developing a healthier relationship with food. Remember, consistency is key. There will be days when you slip up and that's okay. The important thing is to get back on track and keep going. Unlock your fasting potential. Learn from the best. My journey with intermittent fasting wouldn't have been the same without the guidance of experts like Dr. Jason Fung. His book, The Obesity Code, provided invaluable insights into the science behind fasting and practical strategies for success. Ready to transform your life? Intermittent fasting empowered me to take control of my health and achieve lasting weight loss. If you're ready to embark on your own transformative journey, delve deeper into the world of intermittent fasting and discover the incredible benefits it holds. What are you waiting for?